ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Wrestling Frame. Welcome to another edition of Belting It Out. Check this out, man. Um, this uh, one is very special. Um, so those of you who are belt collectors would know what this box is. For those of you who do not know what this box is, this is FanDu's edition of the Big Gold Crumb Rhyme what they like to call the Holy Grail. Now, those of you who know me, who've seen all my belting it out videos, there's only a certain amount of money I will spend on a belt. Uh, this one in particular was well over my threshold. And while it's not ORM or Classic Shields, I think this is a great buy and I definitely had to have this in my collection. So with that being said, you know how I usually do belt now, I'll talk about it. I open the box and uh, show you guys the belt and I put it on the wall. Are we gonna do that today? Oh hell no! <laughs> We're gonna treat this one very special. Now before we do the official unboxing and in-depth review of the Cromeron Big Gold. No, I'm not gonna try to sew this thing. All right, so we're gonna go to a special location and continue this belting it out. Let's go. All right. All right, so y'all might hear some kids playing outside on mine now. And a uh, uh, little reveal for y'all, my very first Belt reveal, what was supposed to be my very first belt reveal, was down here in the same room. And it looked like crap. And I shut it off. Let's see. Cut that away. Ooh. Always fun to see a fan in the box. <laughs> the bail, if you ask me. Alright, now we got this one. Alrighty. Once again, no man knows the background. I chose the black bag. It gives you a free belt bag with it. Okay, guys. This. Wow, yo. You know what? Yo, this is so freaking beautiful. Look, I don't normally do this, but look, guys. I think I got a free hand the camera on this. Oh my gosh, look at this, man. You see this? The detail in it is just amazing. I say every belt's amazing, but this is just <laughs> awesome. Now here, here, I will let you know this. This is the only qualm that I, I had originally about FanDuel's version. You know, the um, the original Chrome Run, as well as if you get a Chrome Run from an independent maker, or even if you get from ORM or Plastic Shields, uh, you know, the uh, nickel part is kind of, um, I don't know what they call the pattern that is, but see, FanDuel is the only one that do this nugget texture there. See, with that nugget texture, I wasn't a fan of it, but now that I look at it, it actually gives it character. You know, uh, I guess that's what Fandy was going for, its own character. And yes, this is a real leather strap. It, it's great. That leather it is. This is awesome, dude. 
see the details in that. And yes, I had to get Ric Flair's nameplate. And for those of y'all who are wondering how much this cost me, $819. You may not see me spend that much on the belt ever again. And then even the stone holders are updated. Now, don't get me wrong, I love all my fan dudes. In fact, my dual gold fan dudes, I gave to one of my brothers. But I have this and ain't nobody getting this. That is one of the few times you will ever see me freehand in the camera. And I know a lot of people are wondering, well, is it actual the size? About 30 and a half inches this way. And it's an actual curve, so I don't know, I really can't measure it that way because it's an actual curve. But oh my gosh. This is just like so glistening. It reminds me of that original that um, Ric Flair held up. It was just shiny like this. Um, of course, that wasn't HD or anything, but yes, I got the Fandu Lux, Fandu Crumb Run, Holy Grail, whatever you want to call it. I have it. Now, if y'all think this belt is awesome, just wait till you see the display case I have planned for it. In fact, Let's go ahead and check that out. Yes, once again, I'm freehanding the camera. So this is where I'm hanging my belt. Yeah, I know I could have centered it better, but no, I got other things going right there. So this is a case that I kind of designed. So you see the background pictures uh, Ric Flair and Sting holding the original Chrome Run throughout. Now, this case I kind of embellished a bit. I did the uh, sequin with the, um, you know, the jewels and the feathers, kind of to uh, simulate Ric Flair's robe. Okay, so I have an icon of Sting. I couldn't find our, in, in my realm of budget, I should say, I couldn't find an uh, action figure with Sting and a belt, so I actually 3D printed that belt and put it on here. I have one of Ric Flair that should be in this corner, but at the time of this recording, it is not here yet. So, oh my place wrong. Anyway, so this is where I'm hanging my crumb rod for now, Now, I hope to get Flair and Sting to sign this. Once they do, I'm encasing that in glass or plexiglass, whatever, but this belt will not be touched. I'm treating this like the Holy Grail. Yes, um, once again, guys, this uh, Lux is definitely a treat. And um, I would be like Vince LaPointe and take some uh, candid shots outside, which I, I, I love those videos, by the way, but it is raining, so I can't do that. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in to Belting It Out, and I finally got the crumb rind. All right, y'all interested, got any questions, y'all know to hit me up, you know, just respond to the video, DM me, Facebook message, y'all know how to reach me. All right, man, thank you guys, and look, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on the Wrestling Fray, Melting It Out, Fray 5, what have you. All right, guys, good night.